Okie dokie peasants, here we are again. A close up of the uh, MS60. As I said earlier, well, we did bother to watch the uh, one before. It's not exactly white, is it? Well, I don't think it's such a bad thing because I do think it's quite a nice colour. But well, I suppose let's start at this end. This is a quite a nice touch that the. Uh, this has been. Uh, kind of nice and glossy. These I'm um, not so sure about. But, uh, oop, still got this new camera, I'm not sure. The tuners uh, after I did, um, I tightened the, the screws up a little bit and they have become a little bit more responsive. There's nothing wrong with them as such. And there's certainly, no reason at the moment I can see to replace them at all. But we'll just have to see, but the string trees here I will replace with roller ones. The neck, well a fingerboard rather, is nice. I think I'll we'll give it a little bit of feed of linseed oil, it's a little bit dry. But other than that it's quite nice. There was a very slight overhang, extremely slight on the uh, on the fret ends on on both sides. Maybe if I do uh, give it a little feed, that will uh, alleviate that problem without having to get uh, too technical or sorry um, technical with it. Even if it is, it's as a heart is really hardly worth it. On to the uh, controls. If you watch the um, LTD uh, MS60 video I made a little while ago now, these switches were the wrong way around. But here, that is on, and that is off. It seems to make more sense to me that way. That goes to the same as both of them. Walking some pickups, as you can see, the staggered pole pieces I'm I'm not really sure why they have that. Surely if you've got a pick up and it's working good, it works good. The bridge is a bridge. I'll definitely uh, replace that with a roller one. And now we come to the complicated bit. The trim bit. The bit that wiggles. One very good thing is a bar. It's um, quite easy to slot on. So hence the need for, uh, I believe, a roller. Because you can see these going to be uh, going to catch on your strings. There's a slight problem. It's. I think I just need to drop a three in one on there, and we should be okay. The strings are Daddario, they came with. I'm not a great fan, I will switch it to my uh, preferred. Well, preferred, it's uh, more the ones I've had least trouble with, are the early balls. Knobs work fine, smooth. I still don't know why that doesn't completely turn off. Now, one thing I was thinking, I'll get this off with one hand. Replace it with a uh, fender type thing. I don't know if you think that looks more attractive more, or not. Well, we'll put it to the vote, maybe. Now the scratch gate or pit guard, whatever you wish to call it, is actually very nicely cut. There's no um, bits and pieces like you've seen on the uh, the HB35 from Barley Benton or the uh, Eastwood Mandolin 12 string jobby. This is quite nice. I'm not quite so sure about the colour or texture, whichever you'd like to call it. And would you think it would be better with a black, white, tortoiseshell? Again, maybe put it to the vote. I have not seen one 
problem with the paintwork. It's very well done. This would be very acceptable on something like, say, uh, maybe even up to a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars or euros. All seems to be working just about the same way. Over to the back. Again, nothing wrong at all with the paintwork. I have yet to find anything wrong. Neck is kind of a satiny type arrangement. I mean, it's a little bit kind of un unfinished here. Just some very light sanding with some fine grit. But here, this is, is very nice and smooth. <coughs> Excuse me. All new bulk standard, bolt on neck. It's fine. Got up the tuners, no name. As I said, they seem to work perfectly well. No need to change them at the moment. Well, as far as I can see. I've got some hanging about. But really, that is about it. Overall, very nice. Oh, look at the bloody traffic. And it's getting dark again because okay, it's nice and sunny. It's sunny out there. And, oh dear. Any comments we gratefully received, especially on the uh, subject of knobs and the scratch plate. Tortoise shell one might be quite nice, but uh, I'm not exactly sure where you'd get one. I suppose we'll have to look at the Toman website and see if I can get one from there. Well, I think that's about that, Taps. Take it easy and drink beer. See ya.